Junk Monkey Friends, hashtag Banana Bunch, it's Sonya and Matt coming to you tonight for another fun-filled night of DIYing, doing something or another. Meet my guest this evening right here, this lovely, lovely bench, which Matt found. She's a lot of brownie frowny right now, okay? She's fake wood. Come take a look at it. So if you're out there, somebody right now that wants to know how to paint fake wood, what I got to do with it, do I have to do anything special with it, this is definitely brownie frowny. Yep, it's got nints and nit, nints. Dents and dings and scratches, right? It needs some TLC. But if you look at it right here, you can see that it kind of looks like it's got wood grain in it. But if you put your hand over it, it's flat. There is nothing. Like, there is yeah, no you can roots. See the ver you can see where... There the, you go. Yeah. It's just, like for mica almost. Yep. Like the pressed... You know what I'm talking about? The pressed pieces. So, do we paint it? Do we not? Do we avoid it? Do we pick it up? Do we take it home? Of course we do, long story short. And then we junk monkey it up. Okay? Hashtag... Banana Bunch. I love to see who's on here with me. In fact, let's have some fun tonight because as our page grows and you guys follow from like all over this amazing world, the globe, tell me where you guys are watching from. I want to see the place names come up because I just think that is truly amazing. So as I said, this is Sonia, this is Matt, and right here at Junk Monkey Paint Company, we love to flip, show you how to do things around your home on a budget and through the power of paint, okay? So I'm going to get started on this piece. And then I'm going to have Matt do some shout outs and tell me who's here with me. But I got to tell you, well, maybe Matt should tell you. How much did you score this piece for? I don't even know. You don't even know? Can't you see through the wrinkled tag? <laughs> no. $5? I don't have my glasses. $5.99. Listen, do your energy drink. You can probably see through walls with that stuff. $5.99 for a bench, year. okay? So this is why I say, if you know somebody, like tag them now, please. Tell them to watch this video. I'll show you how to flip something brownie frowny. So if you're out at Goodwill, if you're out junking and thrifting at a yard sale and you see something, maybe you envision having your home look a certain way. Maybe you wanted this bench to be farmhouse. I don't know, whatever you want. But you can find pieces for $5.99 like this and make them whatever way you want to make them look versus having to go out and buy something that costs a lot more than $5.99, right? And plus you get to put your own spin onto it. So like, how cool is that? So there is, this is my very first tip for how the day. How cool is it? It's so cool. By the way, we got a giveaway. Hang on one second. Let me get started and then I'm gonna throw it to Matt, okay? So what I'm gonna do, first tip of the day, this is not solid wood. It has no wood pours. It has nowhere for the paint to go down. The paint is gonna stick and stick on it, okay? So I treat it a little bit slightly different for only one reason. It's kind of like when you go to, like, who's been to a nail tech and had their nails done when they buff them just a little bit before they put the nails on. What does that do for you? Or when they put the coatings on, it basically opens up the surface to be able to create some tooth for the paint, in that case, a nail polish, to be able to stick. So I encourage you to grab one of these sand blocks. When you're picking up your paint at junkmonkeypaint.com, pick one of these up as well, and then you'll see the, the kind of grit that I like to use. And now what I'm going to do is just basically swirl it. I'm not even going to worry about the rest of the sides. This is the part that's going to get the most use because this is where the booty goes, okay? Right here. We're going to make it beautiful for the booty. But what I'm doing right now is just swirling with my sand pad. And you might be able to even see it from where you are, that white sort of dust that's left behind it. So right now I'm really just kind of like roughing it up a little bit. So when I go to paint, I've got all these scratches that will allow the paint to be able to stick onto. Boom. And I am done. Like I said, not worried about the bottom. The paint's going to stick there, but I want this part to be super durable because this is the part that gets the use, right? So for you guys, this might be the tabletop part, right? So do this process real quick, done. We're not talking about sanding it down to like the wood filler, the pretend wood filler. We're talking about just doing that. All right, you go for it and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I go for what? Go for it, go for it, man. He's going the distance, go for it. I, your, your screen's so scratched up, I can't. Really, that's just paint. That. Well, I did Look, bring these so that you could do some me. dishes tonight. Uh, you can hold the camera or you sure. can do dishes. Which would you rather do? Hey, I'm saying hello to yeah, Klaus. Yeah, I thought you might want to um, do that. Klaus in the house! Yes, yes. Klaus uh, in the Andrea house. Andrea Johnson's on. Who uh, is it? Andrea Johnson. Andrea, how Lisa are you? Lisa is on. Susan Brody says hello. How Maybe are Becky. you? Barbara Let's Ramirez is checking in from South Texas. Pam Lesman, Lisa White. Jim Bob's here. Bridget is on. Bridget, how are you? Yeah. All right. Um, Cece's on. Uh, nice. Uh, Jamma is on. Joe Elliott, Mary Jenkins, Margie Mary. Is everybody saying where they're on. watching 
Yeah. That's always the best, man. Well, Shout out some place names. Donna's on. Amber's watching from Minnesota. Nice. Um, These are um, what I would use to like if you were little scrubbies that you use. I get like four in a pack from the dollar store. So, uh, yep. Let me get it. Yeah, go for it. It's all you. I'm going to let you oh, do your thing got, while I'm painting oh, and then I'll catch up with just a second. Keeps, it keeps what? flicking off the thing. I your, didn't do it. The screen's crazy. I didn't your, do it. Your screen is crazy. You're crazy. Kim's checking in from Niagara Falls on the Ontario side. Uh, Tommy says, hello, Matt. Hello, Tanya. Uh, Teresa's checking in at Illinois. Tina uh, Shapansky says, hey, Sonia. Denise Perkins Hello. shared. CC is laughing at me. Donna, don't laugh. I will cry. Oh, she's laughing with you, not at you. No, right? she's laughing at me. <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. I couldn't find you. I was starting to have a panic attack. Oh, well, I'm That's glad you got here. Yep. And she's checking in. Mar Marion's checking in from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Nice. VA in the house. Um, Oklahoma, um, uh, Michigan, East Aurora, New York, uh, Di Diana's checking in from Arizona, Coleridge, West Virginia, Jane, Holly is checking in from Pennsylvania, not just, not just one part of Pennsylvania, but Pennsylvania, all Pennsylvania, and then, uh, Carrie's watching while she should be packing, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Yay, Carrie! Where is it from, from Carrie? DC. Carrie's our packer shipper upper, and uh, yeah. oh yeah, she oh. came from far away. She came all. Oh, she came the whole way from five feet. So, <laughs> there you go. All your happy mail is going out, guys. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. If you guys want to try the paint, if you go to junkmonkeypaint.com, actually, Kate will probably put the link up. Yes. Yeah, so a little update last night for those of you wondering. I, I see Did it. You crash? The, uh, about the crash last night. About you crashing? Oh, it was ugly in homemade soup. It was, uh, what, we went down, started watching something on TV, and it was over within about five minutes. <laughs> Why use a scrubber uh, instead of a brush? Because I am trying to go for a faux plank look. And if for this particular, um, this particular look that I'm going to show you how to do, this is actually my weapon of choice right here, okay? She's being artsy. The reason why is this is not going to pick up a whole lot of paint, and because it's hard and plastic, what it does, it, it leaves me like with these scratch sort of marks. You see like right there in this area? So I'm going to do like a faux plank style, but I want to see this really super uber distressed, okay? So that's what I'm going to teach you guys how to do today with a plastic kitchen Rubber, all right. So in my mind, when I looked at like, okay, so Matt found this piece, what could I possibly do with it at this point? So I tend to just look at a piece and go, what would really look really nice on this? Take a moment and when I get like that gut reaction, go, ooh, that would be fun. So all I knew was it had this really big flat surface over here, right? Which is the focal point of the piece. And so I could have totally went white and did farmhouse distress. That would have been cool. I could have turned it into like I was thinking even the grain sack kind of look. That would have been cool, right? But you know me, I'm a girl of color, I love whimsy, I love, love, love the stress, time-worn kind of looks. And so I like to combine color with that sort of plank look to create something special. So because this is a big flat surface, I am actually going to break it up in my mind to make it look like planks, okay? So do you see what I did with the scrubber right here? I laid down a base of our Bahama Jade, right? Mm -hmm. Did I have the prime it? No. no. So do you right, wipe off down, or right? you sand it? Yeah, just to get the dust off. Yeah, yeah. So, Honestly, Marcy for this sort of look, it's rough there. and distressed. We're not going for perfection, so it's not a whole wow. lot of dust that's created, right? June's from Zurich, Ontario. Now I've seen June on here a lot. Yeah. But she's from Zurich, Ontario. Cool. I didn't even know there was a Zurich, Ontario. Well, now you do. Well, my family's from Zurich, Switzerland. Yes, <laughs> so, I remember that. Yeah. I remember uh, you saying that. Define what faux is. It's a faux fake effects. look. It's mean it's yeah, fake, okay? It's a fake so. Look. We're going to do some fake planks right now. Yes. Faux planks. Yep. Faux is French for thick. <laughs> you got some faux nails? Some oh, false um, nails? There you go. No, the, the saying is uglier than homemade soup. What are you talking about? Oh, somebody asked me what the saying was. Uglier than homemade soup. This is yeah. true. Yeah, you're right. Homemade soup is kind of looks like that, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Asking I do that. know that when I cut things off, they don't come in cubes like yours come up. Yeah. You as a chef, they come in like the perfect little cubes. Mine, mine would be the uglier than homemade soup. Matt's is really That good. took many years of practice and several fingertips to perfect. Right, yeah. You do that. Cha -cha 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 -cha. Me, I'm like, chop, chop. You know, and nothing's the same. 
So what I want to do is just kind of dry this as quick as possible. I don't mind if some of the colors bleed through, like in terms of mixing with some of the other colors I have to put on top of it, but I do want, I do want it to hold down because I'm going to do probably this with maybe more of like a, a Bahama Jade sort of accent. So the Bahama Jade is for tea lovers out there. If you love that like oceany green color that you see, ever fly like over an ocean. I just remember when we flew out of, um, the, um, what do you call it, the Bahamas, and you're coming out, and you just see all those blue ocean, the blue, like, through the ocean, so that's what that reminds me of, right? So I love it. I say, I say homemade soup, so, and I'm, a, I, I say too. it because I'm a chef, and I've seen some pretty ugly homemade soup. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go ahead and grab some of my antique lace right here, because I'm going to just, you can pick whatever colors you want, so I'm just having fun with it today. I'm going to add some antique lace for some lightning into it. Antique lace is our cream, okay? It's the off-white. If you don't want an absolute bright, you know, but you don't want any yellows, that's an awesome color to use. So now, same sort of process, all right? I'm going to take my, right here, my pad. I'm going to wipe this off into my canvas here, just my, my tarp. I do have um, my favorite tools, including my tarp, linked on my um, website at junkmonkeypaint.com. Click Sonia's favorite things. But all I'm trying to do is just getting the paint off of here, okay? But no big deal. Um, just want it off as much as possible. And now I'm going to do the same sort of process, and I'm going to scratch some of this white into it. Do you see why I don't use the brush and why I get this sort of, like, are you starting to see it kind of come together? Have you ever seen this sort of, like, sun-kissed look on planks where it's weathered? And it or just your has knee the pads. They are right there. They're right here. Yep. Yay! I'm going through a period <laughs> where I found them. I'm always rearranging and moving things, and they get thrown in a box or, you know, in the drawer of a dresser, and they just get moved. You know what I'm saying. You guys picking up what I'm laying down here? You seeing that? Oh my gosh. So, if you ever want to create a sign um, or a piece of furniture that just has that ripped paint sort of look, the, you know, the side of, I say, a stage or a wharf, being an island girl. This is that weathered look that you get, right? So the nice thing about using this cheap, and you can get like four for a dollar at my local Dollar Tree. Whew, that, um, no biggie right here, we're just going to blend that right there. Um, that you can get these and wash them. So the one that I'm using today, I used before. Just wash them out and reuse them. So... If you follow me, you know that I am somebody that likes to DIY on a dime. I do believe that you can create the most amazing, beautiful furniture, and you don't have to pay a for fortune for it, right? For your supplies, for the pieces, and all you need is a little bit of vision. So that's what we do here at the Junk Monkey. We say inspiration is free, and we love to see your projects. And so I hope you guys are all posting over there at um, Junk Monkey Paint Projects and being able to see what we've got going down. So, for those of you who are just kind of catching up where we are, do you see how I'm creating the four planks? So when you're doing this, you can decide how many planks you want in your piece. But for me, I feel like four would be a great, just a great amount of planks to have, right? So, um, can you do this with milk paint? Yeah, absolutely. The only difference is that you don't know how much chipping you will get. So if you want to have more control over the look, Use the chalky style paint, but you can also use the milk paint. But remember, the more shiny or the shinier the surface, the more chips and crackles that you're going to get potentially. You never know. Miss Petunia, she can do anything. She is the monkey on the package wearing a tutu doing a, you know, she's like upside down with the paintbrush in her tail. So she can do some really, really crazy stuff. And so just be warned, which is super fun, that you can get some really good chippy looks with um, the milk paint. I'm going to do the chalky style paint tonight so it's going to behave the way I want it to right now and you're going to be able to see it as it's happening, okay? So what do you guys think so far? Two colors down. Um, Two colors down. I would suggest the original, Jump Monkey original for that. Yeah. You didn't do your tell your butt for giveaway. I haven't yet because I haven't decided what I was giving away yet. Oh, what do you think Matt should give away tonight? Don't, 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 don't like give me ideas. Oh yeah. We had another, I had a saying I used all the time when I was like younger growing up and older people used it and I used it too. It was uglier than a blind date with the lights on. Okay. <laughs> that was well, that's a little scary. Yeah. That's what happens when you grow up in the mountain. Yeah, yeah. Blind dates don't work out too well in the mountain. <laughs> um, Alright, let's see here. 
So I think I'm going to use a little bit of red. I said boho red bracelet. Yes, it is. Guys, thanks for reminding me, actually. This is one of the things I've been working on today. These are now up on the website. These are all handmade boho real leather bracelets. Okay, so they are official, genuine Jug Monkey merchandise. Handmade with love just for you guys. A lot of times you ask me, where do I get my bracelets? And so now I've made available them as of today for you guys. And so they come in a bunch of different colors. Here's the handmade ones that we have so far. So it's first come, first serve. If you want to show them the colors. So if you go to junkmonkeypaint.com and click shop, and then you'll see the session or the, um, the picture there. You can really look at all the colors. But yeah, it's first come, first serve. They're all handmade. So a they're chunk monkey apron. And maybe if I had one on with hand. Love. <laughs> um, I don't know. What, what do you want? What's that? Uh, we'll let's, have to wait till we get more let's do. What do you want to do? All right, let's know. do some red, guys. Let's get all crazy with the cheese. Uh, what do you want to do? What's that? We have, don't no talking from the peanut gallery. All right, I Adam's here tonight. I heard you talking behind my back, Adam. <laughs> Adam's here tonight hanging out, helping us at the Junk Monkey. He actually was helping us with all those bracelets. Um, it does take a lot to be able to get pictures of everything, get it all up on the website so you guys can grab and go. And uh, so thank you, Adam. In fact, Adam, do you feel up to doing some painting? Because you know what? Uh -oh. I think you should get your apron on and like, let's teach Adam how to do this, right? That's right, Smokey Pants. <laughs> Get your apron on. Yeah, hang out at the Junk Monkey. You get given a paintbrush, okay? But actually, you know what? He's been doing some painting around the shop. Didn't you, Adam? That's you know right. what I'm talking about. Okay, go grab your very first first uh, product, your project, and uh, let's show them what you did, okay? All, All right. right. Sounds All right. good. You guys know Adam? If you watched... Um, wait, wait, he was painting? Yes! What do I pay him for? What? Listen! <laughs> he was painting, man, and he was doing it good. Uh -oh. So, Kate and Adam are, you know, like two peas in a pod. And if you watched on in December, we actually did a surprise piano project for Adam. And this uh, chair? What's that? And this chair? So anyway, this is the Adam. And for those of you who watched and supported the boys the other night when they were playing at the county fair, yeah, Adam uh, was Karen what, keyboard says, and what else did you play? Guitar? Yeah. No. Karen says, hi, Adam. Great job at the fair. See? Yeah. Oh, thank you. There you go. All right. So, Adam, hey, that apron neighbor. looks cute on you. Lovely. There you go. All right, so we put some red into this, okay? All right, are you ready to see what Adam painted? I mean, oh, show yeah. him. Show him seriously. Like, oh, yeah. So when we got our new colors jars. in stock, yes. You painted jars. Yes. And listen, yeah. guys, beautiful. didn't he do a good job? Yeah. You painted jars, so I'm, I'm like supposed to be <laughs> like wow by jars. Well, I thought he was like actually paying. Well, listen, like, he's going to get a start here just a little bit now. He's about to advance, okay? Even like the young grasshopper needs to like advance in modules. If you, uh, you don't have any knee pads, but you got younger knees. Hey, uh, I'll teach you how to do this. You can, that way you can go home and full plank everything in your mother's house. Awesome. She'll love it. All right. You want to come over and hang out, out with me? Two, yeah. Right there. Does I'm he just have a choice? This layer. He always has a choice. No, he doesn't. But you can't stand the power of like picking up a paintbrush, can you, Adam? Tell the truth. Give away Adam's apron. No! <laughs> Gosh, Too people. funny. All right, I'm just drawing this real fast. <clears throat> Don't, whatever you do, do not touch this, guys, okay? So this is a 1,200 degree hot it's heat gun. It's a heat gun. gun. Okay? That's what I said. It's a heat gun. I don't know. I want to give something away. I just You're don't know what. I am. What the heck, dude? Give them a gift card. That way they can pick the no, color. I don't know. Maybe I'll pick something else. Oh my. He's feeling, he must be feeling creative. I'm feeling. What are you feeling? I don't know. I don't know whether. I'm not sure this She needs an apron. Of course she needs an apron. All right. So I am going to put some yellow out here as well. I think I yellow can't is give a you an apron compliment. if I don't have one. <laughs> All right, guys. So I am taking some of the paint that's on my thing here. Actually, I can give you a new one too. I have one. Let me see here. Where did that, that yellow one go? Do you see it around here? I'll try to keep your hands somewhat clean for you. All right, too late. You're just going to have to deal with it. All right, so dab, dab, dab into your sunshine yellow. All and right. if you've been seeing what I've been doing. So this, so basically you're going to slide it, and it's going to scratch the paint along. Okay, you're building it up in layers. Okay. All right, let's have a go of it. You think you can do it? Woohoo! Sure. All right, All guys, right. let's do a... See, Adam, let's do a few prizes. Your, let's problem, do a, your problem in life... Is around here, the, the ladies tell him something to do, and yeah. what's Adam do? He goes, 
Yes, right away. He jumps right to it. So yeah, you know what? Yeah, awesome, right? No, right, so I'm no, this. no. You're, you're ruining us. Okay, you're so dip us. it in a little bit of that. Dip it <laughs> off onto here because you don't want to be too thick, right? You want to use all the scratchiness and all the, like, plastic, right? Okay. It's really not really conducive to painting with. That's the good thing for this. So dab it off to get as much excess off as you possible. You can possible. In your mind, you're imagining these. We'll start to really straighten these up as planks in just a little bit. But uh, can you see that? It's just One, a plastic, two, uh, Three, just, four. Do you see that? It's just yes. a plastic disc, dish scrubber. Yep. Thing in my Matt's bottom. never seen one in his life, right, Matt? I uh, never. Yeah. Ever. All right, so start right there and like just sort of slide it around until straight line, because planks go in straight line. You got it, buddy. All right, there you go. So dip a little even, bit more. We're adding so, some yellow highlights. Yep. So easy, even the atom can do it. There you go. Awesomeness. Yep. Go as straight as you straight, can. Straight line. So that that way, you know, when you think about how a plank runs, it just picks up, it follows the lead of it, right? So when people see it, they're faux, they're fake, but they know exactly what you were going for. So let's do one, two, three of those as well. I, three I think rates. we should go, I think we should kind of go a little bit big tonight. Okay, let's do it. If, if everybody's sharing it. They are. That's awesome. How many people do we have on? Right now, there was 500 right now. For some. Very nice. Okay. Excuse me. All right, sounds I good. I think we should do a $30 gift certificate. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. $30 gift certificate. Oh, my goodness. Thirty dollars to shop online to pick your own junk monkey paint Boy, supplies. Just, like, yeah, you're feeling like still teddy bearish from last night. He's feeling kind, isn't he kind? Yeah. I don't know. Like, seriously, what's up with him? Yeah, yeah right. Looks good, Adam. He just says no. That's not the problem. That's awesome. Keep it up, Adam. <laughs> Matt Matt is gonna get you in trouble. Yes, he is. <laughs> I am giving him solid life advice <laughs> on being on on being emotionally unavailable. And most likely single. My heart is black. <laughs> what are we going to do with him, right? But Michelle's having some rough weather out where she's But out. Adam hasn't been feeling good today. Huh? No, it's just lucky that he's doing this. What? Yeah, you told me you weren't feeling good when you came in today. What did What did the doctor say that you had? Up dog. <laughs> up dog. Yeah, it's up dog. What's wrong? You got that look on your face. What are you thinking right now? You never heard of it before? What? Say it. What? Nothing. What were you gonna say? Just say it. No, oh, I'm I'm recording painting. No, what were you gonna say? He's got a case of up dog. What is up dog? <laughs> what's up dog? You know what's up? We're doing uh, a full paint, full paint bench here tonight. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, we got you. <laughs> no, we got you. We no, got I'm, you. No, believe me. Yes. I'm I was telling you the other night all the uh, acronyms that are going about. So. <laughs> High five, Adam. <laughs> we planned that since this morning. We were just waiting for you to walk into it, right? Because, okay, because I walked into you didn't know, it. You didn't know they kind of spilled the beans earlier and uh, were... Uh, what? You didn't yeah. know anything about it? I was interrogating Yeah. You. Yeah, right? You didn't know anything about it. Was I not? We said that we were planning a bamboo ball. Yes, we were. All right, and now I'm going to add in a little bit of the black. And this basically, the base when it starts out is, you know, you're getting your base of color that you want to show through, okay? And then you're going to finish with your primary color. And we're going to plank it all out and all that good stuff. But let's go ahead because I'm going to add a lot of black onto this piece and I want the seat to be able to blend in with it, okay? So let me go ahead and do this real quick. Thank you, Michelle. What's Michelle saying? She said that was a little lame. <laughs> what said that was lame? Come yeah. on now, Michelle. 1984 call. That was they want family their, friendly. They okay? want their jokes back. Listen, I dare you at the mm. supper table to say that to your child or your spouse. And just wait for it. They will think you're the coolest cat around. <laughs> oh my God. What? Don't judge me. You are such a loser. Thanks. That's why you married me, remember? And I am all yours, baby. All yours. All right, let's try that real quick right there. Because we don't want bad, the colors to blend, joke. right? What was a bad, bad joke? Uh, sunshine yellow. What are you talking about? You oh, yeah, let's what. try this real fast, Adam. All right. All right, so you're given a 30-way, 30 30-way, 30 a $30 online yes. code to shop junkmonkeypaint.com. And all the winners from last night, we had three winners. They've already gotten, like, Everything they've their tracking out. numbers already. Yeah, heck yeah. So we're going to do the same with you. So actually, the winner tonight, before I leave my shop, if you already have it emailed, I will send it so you can shop tonight. If not, you have until midnight Eastern Standard Time, and you'll get your code tomorrow, okay? So you can 
pick your colors that you like. But do you see the colors that I've gone with right here? Yeah, just Percy wait. Darn There's cool, going to be right? more black. Oh, yeah. Because we, we gotta got to get the base down. We got to build the base. All right. So, but that's even a pretty cool look in itself. Who agrees with that? We got to build the base. So All right. Solo. Adam, I'm going to get your help now, okay? Because right. I want to create these plank lines a little bit stronger, okay? So, I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Do I like measure OCD? Nope, I absolutely do not. I just wing it, okay? So I know like right here is one, right here is one, right here is one, right here is one. So in order to help me create my straight lines, because this is a long piece, right? So I am going to, all right, you hold that bit right there. Oh, look, they found painter's tape. And let's see here. Where'd you find painter's tape? I have more rolls of painter's tape that looks like that. Hi, Donna's hubby. There we go. Okay, let's start with that piece right there, all right? So we're going to plank it on the inside right there. Yeah, got it? Because that's going to be our line right there. This is pretty thick, but we're going to make use of it, all right? Because we got to do some lines. Make sense? So let's go ahead and put... How big are your lines? I'm just using one side. I'll show you what I mean. Oh. All right, you want to do... Oh, uh, you're doing edging? Yeah, i got to do some... Guy liner. Run it to the other side over there. Guy liner. Stick it over there. Get it down nice and... Yeah, this is long. Typically, I would not use painter's tape and just wing, kind of wing it, but I'm trying to make them look as, you know, so it'll be one Everybody here, say hi to James. Here. James, hi, James. Hello. All, all the husbands are getting roped into watching. Woohoo! Stand by your woman. There you go. Is that not how the song goes? What were you drinking today? <laughs> What was I drinking? Apparently, maybe I got into your stash of um, hyperactive, um, radioactive, whatever you drank last oh, I'm night. I'm glad you en are enjoying yeah. using our product, Brenda. All right, so, can you vision in your mind, like this is one client right here. Oh, there's your reward. Right there, right there, and right there, wow. okay? Yes. Yeah. All right. Wow. What? This is true. All right, you open the, the black, well, the black velvet's right there, okay? Pull that over. I'm going to get a small brush that we can use real quick. I need a tiny paintbrush because there's a little tiny paintbrush. Okay, so you're going to take your paintbrush and you're going to go over the edge of that paintbrush. Okay, so I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to go over the edge of that paintbrush. Okay, so I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to go over the edge of that paintbrush. Okay, so I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to go over the edge of that paintbrush. Okay, so I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to go over the edge of that paintbrush. Okay, so I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to go over the edge of so I'm going to show you how I cheat sometimes to be able to make um, make what looks like knot holes, okay? You know when you get a painter, when you get like a paint stick and it has that little cutout? And you know how when you have plank wood and it has those little knot holes? So I'm going to line this up to the edge of my tape. And what I'm going to do is, I'll show you. There so you Adam, I'm going to get you to do one in just a bit so you can watch and be like, I got this, I got Bridget this. Bridget says, don't give her an energy drink, she'd have to fill her off the ceiling. I know. She'd never drink it. She gets a little bit... Uh... No, I don't like feeling out of my body, okay? Anything weird, anything fuzzy. I take Advil and that's about it, hey, okay? Gunny. And even then, I'm like, you know, I remember when I had all my wisdom teeth out and they were like, I forget, take so many Advil and it's the equivalent of like, you know, the really strong painkillers. I'm like, is that even safe? Like, I take two at the most. Yeah, you might want to talk to your liver. And that's rough, that. right? You know? Okay, do you see what I just did there, guys? This is the cutout right here. This is on this paint stick. So I do like the, the sunset right there, okay? So I'm gonna keep moving along, but I do this really, really, um, you know, so now that because that is there, I don't want that knot hole to like, let me see, well, it's on this side too, that's okay, we can move it. What, right. don't like it when it's just you? Um, not when I'm not expecting it, and then, I, then I have to have like conversation. Then you have to talk to people, dude. I know, isn't that crazy? Matt talking to people. Can you believe it? <laughs> All right. All right, Adam, you want to try it? So line it sure. up with your tape so you kind of at least have something to follow. And then, you know what? Just be like really loosey-goosey, okay? Loosey-goosey with your piece, with your uh, brush. By the way, when I do oh. painting, I do like to have just a set of uh, brushes for like smaller sort of line work that I'm doing. And I've got those linked as well over on... Uh, at um, Junk Monkey Paint and just click Sonia's favorite things. You'll find all my like must have tools as a shabby painter, like my heat gun and um, my stencil book, my favorite like brushes like this, because things are not all created equal, right? So my cleaner, all that good stuff is all over there. You got it, buddy. You got it, yep. Wow, is it like getting hotter in here? I know it is warm, right? We yeah. could turn on the AC. Yeah. Right. All right, right along there. Yeah. 
Everything's gonna dry quickly. You want All me right. to do that? Yeah, yeah, that would be awesome. You get to AC. It like jumped like 20 degrees like right now. I'm like mm. sweating. That's because you're surrounded by hotness. Oh my gosh! What? <laughs> <laughs> you're like oozing cheese today. What? You're cut off from dairy products. What? Cheese ball. All right, let me work over here. Listen, don't don't um, mess with me when I'm working, okay? I could be set capable of saying anything. There you go. All right. So again, the reason why I'm doing my planks in a dark is because no, thank you, Teresa. Planks that collect dirt or dust is whoo, is dark, right? Oh, that's where we all know what happens with dust bunnies and planks, and or if you have a cabin where everything settles in between all the wood, right? So we're just gonna move it along and create some really cool darken planks and when I get to the point where I've got like that cut out just do a little bit of do the sunset all right you want to keep going right there sure thing there you go man this is this is now like unfortunately in cheese Ever. sweats aren't anything like meat sweats because sweats? yeah because cheese and cheese, what is cheese sweats? overindulgence in cheese only makes you come Rich? up with like cheesy sayings and um, I can't help it, man. You can't hide what's inside, you know what I'm saying? You know? And then you got me and Adam on tonight, so let's just say, right? Right, Adam? <laughs> you know, as he giggles. Kate, what do you think? <laughs> Kate's like, it is so hot! Oh. <laughs> Always hard eyes. There you go. Uh -oh. I hope there you get you better soon, Denise. <laughs> so what's everybody up to tonight? I don't know, but I think uh, Brooke what? has a small child that just danced across her t keyboard. Oh, <laughs> too funny. Uh, I keep freezing, breaks me down, makes me frown. Just share and you can go back and watch it again and turn that frown upside down. You got it. Woo! Okay, I'm about to say how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if woodchuck could chuck wood. Mm-hmm. Woodchuck would chuck how much he could if woodchuck could chuck mm -hmm. wood. I don't know, I just had to contribute to that whole conversation. Mm -hmm. All right, what do you think, Adam? Yeah? <laughs> Pretty yes. cool, right? Yeah. I'm liking it. I'm really, really liking it. All right. Don't just so blindly like, agree with her. What? <laughs> well, he's kind of gonna trust me because he has no idea what's going on, do you? Painting is a process of creativity and funness <laughs> all rolled into one. All right, let's dry some of those edging a little bit just so we've got our lines of where we're going, okay? All right, now I think we can peel it off. I think we'll be good. Yep, just peel it right off. All right. Now we got something to work with. All right, there you go. All right. There we go. Um, no, All it's right. a Wagner heat gun is what it is. I think we're going to add in a little bit more of the Bahama Jade because I want the Bahama Jade to be the most that people are going to see. So I'm going to dab in some more. Kate, you all right? Yeah. Did you throw something at Oh, Kate? my. What are you doing? Oh my. All right, so we're gonna have some peekaboos of those colors. That's why I say, put your like accent colors down first, and then finish off with the color that you want to see the most. Of. I'm not gonna let them read it, read any of these comments, Bridget, because you're giving them bad advice. Adam, do you see what it's like when you're on live video? You have no perception of what anybody's saying in the mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. You just, you just paint. <laughs> just know, just know that I'm protecting you. Matt's over there having a wonderful conversation. Listen, if there's any drama llamas, you know what I do. <laughs> Ain't nobody got What's time for What's for dinner that. tonight? Um, just block. I don't know. We had Wendy's. Move on. We had bunless Pretty Wendy's simple. and side salad. God, we sound like we have a horrible life. Bunless Wendy's. <laughs> I'm just dying right now for a cupcake. Listen, the more you talk about stuff like that, you mm -hmm. know, you're going to not be able to give up the carbs and the sugar, man. I, I'm sorry. I've been doing it for too long. I don't know if I can keep going. What? Yeah. So now Matt's at a, it sounds like Matt's at a point in his keto where he's not sure if he's going to keep going or not. What is up with that? I don't know. I don't know. Who else is out there doing keto and how long did you survive? Let's take a poll. Let's take a poll and find out. I just feel like I'm eating the same stuff all the time. It's getting pretty boring. Really? Yeah, I'm a chef. Yeah? So you know what? So come up with new and inventive like ways. Uh, okay, let's go down the list of ingredients that are available. Let's get married to me. Let's see how I uh, make them think. 
No, you don't need any. The, the list of ingredients is about this big. And then she goes, come up with new and exciting things. Dude. Yeah. yeah. How many times, how many ways can you like, you know. Prepare a hot dog. Pick me, me, any meat. If you're eating hot dogs, that's all you live on, and that's you. Because you can have I'm dying you for want. anything chocolate. Yes, thank this you. This is the truth. It's not the meat, because you can have meat you want, but. Right, I want a cinnamon roll. <laughs> You and me both. Hot, what's inside? It's all coming out right now. Uh, the dish thing that we're paying with, you can get it anywhere. This came from Dollar General for like 50 cents. Four, four dollars. Linda says it's stressing you, Mad Matt. You have no idea. Mexican shrimp fajitas. Oh my God. Me and Bonnie Hall are going to hang out. We're going to have shrimp fajitas. Nice. Are you having the... French toast and cheesy we're eggs turn here. This over you can have cheesy eggs. Now. Uh, yeah. and keto. You just can't have the French toast. We're just gonna let this top do a little bit. I'd like to see a little bit of that. See the um, scratching You just can't eat any carbs together, or guys. sugar. Um, I lost a ton of weight really quick. Like, you know, I, I usually tried to stay in really good shape, but I had a couple injuries over the past couple years, so I kind of got, I, I put on, what, about 30 pounds? Mm -hmm. You say? Yeah, yeah. About 30 pounds, and then I right. dropped that 30 what do you think pounds so far, in a few Adam? weeks on the keto. What? So, what do you think so far? I think it looks wonderful. I'm going to smooth yeah. out some of those. Do you like that? Yeah. yeah? yeah. It's pretty cool, right? Now we can smooth out and make some of those lines a little bit softer. Dude, anything with chocolate, anything with icing, I should say. He's convincing himself. He's going to leave here tonight. Mm -hmm. And he just needs some moral support to be like, yes, eat um, that cupcake. Well, I found some pretty good sugar-free alternative. It's just a, a dish scrubby, plastic dish scrubby. Yep. Um, We're not even done yet, but it's looking pretty amazing, right? Yeah. Give me some hearts and some love, guys. I hope you like I it. I did uh, get this stuff. What was that called? Walden Farm? We found this stuff. We were in a grocery store, and it's called Walden's Farm, um, and they had, like... I find Matt over, like, where's Matt to? Fat-free... Look what I found! Fat-free caramel dip. I'm gonna buy all the flavors. Yeah, carb free hazelnut chocolate, right? Yeah. And I opened it up the other night just to try it. I've been putting it off. Don't waste your money. <laughs> it was, money. I almost threw up. It had the consistency of, uh, like, um, what do you think of that? half runny jello, and the flavors were so overwhelmingly like synthetic chemically tasting they made it you want to throw up they were terrible <laughs> all right you want to do some black edging with me and antiquing sure if you can handle it yes adam says he can handle it so guys these are the shabby chip brushes that i like to use right here and i, I like to use it. them all right like to use them over you and over that? again so you can see how like gnarly they get but when i'm working on doing some shabby uh, pieces i like to keep them and so everything we do is water-based and so you can keep using them over and over again. So sometimes when I'm doing like, you know, black antiquing and edging about like what I'm gonna do in a second, I like to find ones that are really like, you know, used and might have lost some bristles. You can tell it's definitely been around the block, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is put it into my black velvet and add some black, all right? We haven't even done the outside, which is gonna be like the frame to this piece, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna teach you how to do this, Adam. All right. EA e. Manuda came on and said, "Treat yourself. It's okay. You did great." See? Don't yeah. It. Guess what? You're the devil. Yeah. <laughs> so if you can see, yes, right just here, have my a little, just a tiny, over here, tiny taste. Yes. Just a tiny, tiny taste. And you see that, guys? I am giving myself some black edging now, right, oh, for all carrot, those corners. Carrot cake is and one of It's starting to come to life. We're not even done yet, guys. It's a process, and so sometimes people see things and you're like, my God, like, what are you going to do with that? Well, it takes a little bit to see all the colors come together. So you saw me do the shading with my shabby chip brush, black velvet in the edges. Now, because the plank flows this way, I'm gonna go back and tip, dip that brush back into that little bit of black edging that's already in there. So the paint's a little bit on the brush, I'm not re-dipping, but what I'm doing is taking a little bit and I'm pulling it out. So imagine for this piece as we work through it, it's gonna have some really, you know, some really dirt in the crevices, right? Yeah. All right, Adam, you got it? Well, I make, I make pepperoni chips, okay. I, uh, I make... Uh, so if you wanna do the back end in here, and then do the corner down. I make you cheese it? crisps right. you to got have this? with uh, Give Pat up some love. bruschetta and stuff like that. Yep, um, just go really thin. 
you got this, you got this. Look at this, guys. Shake your brush, like shimmy your brush back and forth. Do the little booty dance with the brush. There you go. You, you got it going down. Yeah. Um, yep, and you go across the back right there. Very nice. I'm one of those uh, people that come from a meat heavy uh, region in Europe yep, as just well a little as bit. the U.S. So Pull it off the side I don't of your do hand well a little bit right there. Diets. I like fruit, but I, I gain weight nice. because all that And then try to keep it in here so it's like all sugar. your sprays is not coming out. Oh, I'm just going to rub it with my fingers. No, you're good. You can't mess up. It's paint, man. All right, like that. Yep, and all the way down. Get your corner in there really good. Ooh, I like that. Don't encourage him. I like it. <laughs> yep, and then bring it down to your edge down here. There you go. So while he's they're working saying, on doing that, they're, they're saying, there, Adam, you can do it. You can do it. Absolutely. Now here's yeah. fun too. Okay, I can take a little bit of my paint that's in my in my paint right here, my finger, in my paint, <laughs> and then what I can do is just kind of like put on a few more little like you know. That's funny. That's fun, right, to do this sort of stuff. Anna Pricky said, when you're ready for the cake, I can meet you. But you want to do meet a long you on Acme Dam Road. All right, there you go. You want to do some more finger smudges just to make it interesting. And when you put it down, try to swipe your finger, like, back and forth when you put it down. Like, so it doesn't okay. just get your finger pit. Go, like, back and forth. And, like, can you give me some of those? Yeah, yeah. All right. right. Just kind of, like, space them out in different <laughs> planks. Like, one up here, one down there, one down there. So you want to just kind of like bring that color around just a little bit more for our highlights. You got it. Straight line. Yep. Ah. Swing back and forth. <laughs> uh, Beth, Sarge Miller is coming out here. Beth, I'm retired. I'm a retired chef, but I was certified executive chef for many moons. Um, one at uh, five star, five star, five diamond resort here in Pennsylvania, as well as Frank Lloyd Wright Properties Incorporated. So I uh, called it quits. To do paint I like stuff. that. See, the more you do it, you're getting better at it too, right? Who's the guy painting? I've this never is seen Adam. Him. He just crashed the shop, guys. Have no idea who he is. So I'm gonna take black for the rest of my bench, okay? You can do whatever color you want. You could have done a Bahama Jade, but I'm gonna paint the rest of this bench in like a shabby black. And the, it's gonna be gorgeous. The problem when you heat up avocado, and this is the thing. When you do like uh, avocado crisps, I mean, I actually experimented. I saw saw some recipes of like, Ooh, like avocado that. soup, like cold soups and stuff like that. Once you heat avocado, oh, Adam. God, there's an enzyme in right it here. that changes, and that That's enzyme, like yeah. when, whenever it dries or gets heated, it changes. And no it, word of a lie, a avocado okay. tastes just like a cardboard box once you do that. Who is Adam, your son? No. Um, Pretty much. We've adopted him. We've adopted him. Look at how nice that looks over there. Adam, you look like you're 15. <laughs> Actually, Adam. But he's a 15 year old amazing painter, okay? Kate. With great Kate, jeans. Kate, I'm robbing the cradle. <laughs> Kate, we don't need any, uh, we don't need any, like, any, like googly eye comments, okay? Any what? Okay, he gives me hard eyes. She's, Aww. Yeah. This, this is Kate's boyfriend. Yes. <laughs> he has no idea. He's what, turned into he, a junk yeah, monkey. He has no idea. If you idea keep hanging out with us, it's just like you just become a junk monkey too. You can't help it, right? Yeah. Too much fun. Exactly. So guys, yeah. look at this. Come around so they can really see the back of the bench as the black comes together. I mean like this view over here. Okay. So so if you want a little hint, like I get all the time, this common thing, is how do I keep my guacamole or my avocado from turning brown? Simple. <laughs> just take your plastic wrap and make sure it's touching. I just eat it all. Then yeah, I don't have a yeah. problem. But if it, as long as it's touching, it'll never turn brown. That's but if you boring. leave any kind yeah. of a, like right. space in there. You want to start drawing the back of it there? Yeah. What am I doing? You want to grab the heat gun without hurting yourself. Okay. Don't burn yourself. Kay, so KV uses the heat gun? Yes. Okay. Which <laughs> never point it at yourself, okay? Yes. It is truly... Heat gun because it does force things out right here. Yep, go all the way to the top. You got it. So what happens is as that gets hotter, the longer it's on, you can even have your heat gun on so long that it will glow red. And we know what happens when the coils in our oven glows red, right? So no. just keep it on your project. Yep, you're doing a great job. Keep bouncing around. You've been listening to me, haven't you? Yeah, yes. you don't keep it on the same spot. Good job. All right, let's do some edging out here as well. I'm going to take my shabby chip brush and do like the outer edge as well. 
Again, I paint imperfectly perfect, guys. I think there's beauty in things just not looking absolutely perfect. And um, so if you get a splotch of paint somewhere, just go with it, right? And this sort of look. You can't You're make Mother Nature... Bad. You cannot make Mother Nature um, behave the way you want. So if you're doing time-worn pieces and weathered pieces, you know what? You could see a chip out of here or there or whatnot, right? Galen, I would love to hand deliver something to New Zealand. Um, We're going to New Zealand, people. We're going to New Zealand. All right, how long a uh, flight is to, is it to New Zealand? Yeah, how long? I think it's like, uh, I know when I went to Japan, it was like 22 hours. I like having a helper. This is really nice. Wow. This is pretty darn cool. All right. So, cool my right so there. You, you, will you send? Yes. Guys, I so, haven't even distressed this yet, right? Oh, they said, so will you send so the red and yellow shows sh through again? You can. Yep, absolutely. The other way, if I want more yellow in this piece, remember I showed you that finger? Um, the finger, what would you call it? What should we call this move? The swoosh? The finger swoosh? Dip your finger in a little bit of the yellow, and then you could just do the swoosh down, right? You know what I mean? Put some few, put a few in there, rub it into your piece. Way to go. So I'm going to put a few little yellow pieces in here just because I can. And then remember, I'm going to sand. So if I want, I can sand them out just a little bit lighter. So stay tuned for that because that's going to be kind of like, that's my favorite thing to do is when you get to the distressing, and then say it with me, there's a monkey shine. So we got to monkey fight up, and, you know, there's good things happening. So there we go. Pretty cool. All right, so what we're going to do is let this dry. We've got to flip it over, do the four quick legs, and then we flip this back over. By that time, everything will be good and dry, so we can go ahead and do our distressing, finish off, and I think there might be a stencil, people. Great job, I Adam. I think there might be a stencil. All right, you want to grab that end? I'll grab this end, and let's flip it real fast. Both at the same time, so that way. Hey. Woo! Yep. You got quit it. liking all, quit loving yeah. all the posts about your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. All right, let's get this right on the tarp over here. Oh, yeah. yeah. No worries. Perfect. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, you can take a shabby chip brush and work on that edge. I'll work on this side, and we'll tag team it and get it done real fast. So when I do chairs or things that has legs, guys, I'm going to tell you, turn it upside down. For heaven's sakes, don't be trying to, like, paint it when I'll put that right here. All right? Boom. And, uh, yeah, we'll get this knocked out super fast. Super fast. Boom. I know I didn't do any sand or anything down here. I'm well, just grabbing a brush there. and going bananas. It's actually wood down there. It's a shiny shellac on it, but it's going to work out just fine. This is the fun thing with this paint, right? It doesn't have to be all crazy. I'm pretty sure I just like got black paint on my face. You got face. black paint in your eye? Probably. Extra eyeliner. All right. Paint faster. So tell anybody who's new what we're uh, our giveaway tonight. We're giving away a thirty dollar gift certificate usable at junkmonkeypaint.com. Dot com. Dot com. I, don't know, I keep hearing that. What, there's a commercial that does that. Makes me want to say it every time I say dot com. Too funny. Mm. So we're going to go shabby style. So we're using our shabby chip mm. brushes. We're going to go around versus painting up and down. Okay, we want to go around the legs. And I like to leave pieces of the brownie frowny furniture showing through because that's a way to cheat and get some distressing, right? Because I don't want this piece to be perfect. And so if I've got a, you know, a really, really old looking top on it, the legs are definitely going to look old as well, right? Bonnie said it's only uh, 94 in Waco today. Only 94? <laughs> Guys, watch the vlog. Take a sip of wine every time I tell you it's hot. Has anybody done that game yet? Yeah. Let me just tell you. It was hot. It was What's hot. What's up, Stacy? Uh, yes. I've never been in a place where it still was that hot late at night. Like crazy, crazy, crazy. Today is a rainy day. Look at that. Well, it rained for a while, didn't it? It was really hard raining. And, uh, but. What's you know, different so about junk? Paint compared to other paints. It's made with love. It's made with love. Monkeys. Actually, powdered love and uh, ground more. monkey goes into every can. One go. one whole monkey goes into every yes. can of uh, Jump Monkey Paint. It is our very own recipe. Yes. And it was created by me, a shabby painter. 
and uh, it was created by you, huh? I loved it. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea who that man is. Never seen yes. him before in my life. Yes. All right. No, banana pill Polly is not food grade. Oh, we're back again. Yeah, the Wi-Fi's been really weird today here. So guys, if you didn't hear, we do have some shabby boho, real leather that smells amazing, let me just tell you. Anybody else love the smell of leather out there? Love the smell so of I don't want to touch them, but if you want to come over and show them real quick while we're doing this part here. So you get to have a, yes, these are all handmade these jump monkey boho leather bracelets. Ones. Awesome, like to stack on your arm. I love wearing it with my silver jewelry. And uh, I just, they're the real deal leather. They're awesome. They're cool. That's actually yellow. It looks kind of like fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brown. That's actually yellow. All right. So I'm going to dry this real fast. And then we're going to flip it back over. So if you can, you two can find an Adam to paint with you, you know, it will really speed things up. You did a good job. Thank you. Yes, now we just distress. We'll distress before we flip this back over. We'll be selling Adam. uh we'll we'll be selling Adams here um go. as soon as we get some shipped in. <laughs> if you would like an add on. If package. you would like your very own Adam. Yeah. There you go. And you get a cake too. Alright. They go everywhere. So I should I too. suggest against the cake. I suggest no. against the cake. <laughs> All right, Adam, have you ever been in distress before? I mean, have you ever distressed before? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> right Kate, do you put him in distress? Like, Kayleen says, from your place to my house, it's 13,904 kilometers. Oh, wow. So How many? 13,904. So divide that by 2.26. That That'll give you the mileage. Yep. Nice. I think it's like right around, you know, 5,000 some miles. Cool. Alright guys, so if you're just joining us, we're flipping Who the made brownie, those brownie. bracelets? They're handmade by a local leather worker that works with for us, I guess with us, for us, um, to be able to bring them to you guys. So when you support the Boho bracelets and us, you're actually supporting another local maker that works Yes, the person we have chained in the basement. You. There you go. Oh, <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Kate, you know, we're not supposed to tell anybody about that, right? But yeah. All right, so let's see here. Now we're going to go ahead and grab a... Um... That is a heat gun. Yep. Okay, Adam, so this is this is your distressing tutorial, okay? You're okay. going to need a midi medium grit sand pad. Uh-oh. All right. And all the edges, I mean, you can still see some of it's still wet. Doesn't matter, right? We can do a wet distress as well. Right. Because we're going to do like a ripped off paint sort of effect, right? So all these pieces right here are the edges. So when you put your sand block on it. We did that a few weeks ago, Darla. We can't pictures, do it right? all the time because we need to keep the beat so we can eat. Look how nice that is right there, right? So there you go. There's a nice new, I'm using this side. You can use that side. You know, I'm giving him my like new fresh sand pad, right? You know, you just you're just excited. I'm a giver. I'm a giver. All right. So I'm gonna distress this side over here while you're I'm working on that. It. This looks really good. Yeah. And you can even do some more, like you know, really, really, like rip it off. Love it. Go all around the legs. So um, yeah, Kate's it's probably like. It's a coffee like, table that looks like a bench. It's Adam, you're gonna have to be doing some um, work like this for Kate. You wanna, uh, you know? Oh, it's only 8,600 miles away. She's getting some ideas. I guarantee you, seeing you oh, in action. Yeah. She's like, wow, he's a good paint ripper <laughs> they, offer, right? They said it's getting real. Uh, she's giving Adam the uh, sponge. Dang straight. All right, let me just go ahead. While well, we have this upside down, so here's a tip. Do the legs of your chairs, everything upside down. If you're distressing while it's upside down, then flip it right side up, and then you can go ahead and do any adjustments that you need because you'll thank yourself later. Did we get them all? All right. 
effective, but get them off. So don't oh, just yeah, distress yeah. the top and forget the legs. Yes. You ready to flip? Furniture yes. flip? This Not is how the you new furniture sand flip. Pad. They're like, it's serious. He got the new sand pad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you can throw that in your apron. All right, you guys ready? Flip it. I'm going to show you, for those of you who tuned in just new, this is a page where I love the furniture flip, and this is what you do. You bend down just like this. All right, grab the bottom down here. Ready? And boom. This is how you do a furniture flip just like this. Paint is optional. Um, but, yeah, that's probably the easiest way to flip something, right? All right, so you're starting to see how it's coming together. Now, this is the fun part because, Adam, we get to distress the top, okay? We get to distress. Did you hear how I said that? Yes. Okay, so grab your sand block. And now we get to really distress all over. So if you want to work around, give me some heavy distressing all There's around. There's Adam Cook. Up here. He's 18, people. He just graduated high school. Give him a little bit of time to ripen. <laughs> all right, now I am going to really give it a good sand to try to knock off some paint that's on the top up here, okay? Ooh, I like it. And I'm going to distress, like, literally with, you know, I paint in this line because, in this way, because this is what the lines of the plank are. They don't go up and down, right? So we're doing this. You can turn your sand block on the side, and if you really want, like we have a big stroke of yellow here, so if I want to break that up a little bit, I'm going to turn my sand pad on the side, press, and really try to break it up a little bit, right? The side of your sand pad, a lot of times you forget about that. But it's a great way to break through because it's got a nice solid edge. Yeah, I took a, I took a nice little chunk out there. Yeah, I like that, right? Mm -hmm. But. Even your is distress this Adam in the band? Way. Yes, it is. Yeah. Is he house trained? Barely. Adam is multi talented. You can see. Monkey shine or banana peel? Both. <laughs> you answered my question. <laughs> there we go. That's he didn't good. have too many drinks. It looks better when you have too many drinks. Trust me. Love it. So what kind of stencil do you think we should put on this? What do you think, huh? Let's take a look and see what we can find. Let's take a look and see what we can find. Bye bye brownie, frowny. I don't know, do you think this was like 70s or 80s or what do you think that was? That? Yeah. That was hideous. I don't know what year it is. It was just really bad? Yeah. I'd say right. probably the late 60s, early 70s. All right, let me see. You know what? Why were we They like your one? music. Yeah, right? This one could be cool on here. I think, you know, that could work really nice on here. Let's sure. do this one, okay? So, guys, uh, if you haven't heard, I've been telling everybody because you need to run before they disappear. What? Don't run. Don't, no, don't, don't run. People can fall. That's how people get hurt. Oh, I'm sorry. Never run with scissors. That's All right. right. So these are stencil packs that you can get at Walmart. And you can see you get 41, 42 designs. This one had 50 designs in it. And they're all different themes, right? So there's one that is ocean theme that I grabbed. Um, and so that's the one I'm going to use from tonight. So if you want to get one too, you get a whole pack for like $10 to $12, just depending on what pack you pick up. So grab them before they're gone because, you know, they're just awesome to Amy, be able to make Amy you... Amy said he was going super slow, though. He kept stopping to drink and talk. Well, he was trying to connect with you, Amy. I'm, I'm giving you my Dr. Phil. That's your husband's way of saying that he was trying to have a conversation. <laughs> she said her husband tried to help her paint the other night, but he had too many drinks beforehand. Oh, it didn't it. turn out well. Oh, that's funny. Have you used a resin seal over that paint yet? A what? A resin seal. Um, no, I seal with our wax, uh, monkey shine, or our poly if I want. Um, we've we've that used sort of seal. oil base back in the day before. Yeah, I'm, not a lover of I'm I'm just thinking, yeah, it should work. I don't think there shouldn't be any reason why it wouldn't work. Mm -mm. I don't think you'll have a problem at all. All right, let's go ahead. I don't know which side. I think that side over there would look. No, put it right huh? in the middle. This is a middle one. No, we're not gonna. This put it is on a center middle. middle one. That's the middle. What do you think, Adam? You the like only the reason side. I'm saying that is because you got. I like the handles. side. I'm a side sort of. You I know. Like this. 
feel like it should be stenciled. Those stencils but then came I'm gonna from feel Walmart. Like I need something else for the other sides. What do you guys think? Should I put it in the center? I mean, this is a big stencil, but this is a big area, right? So I think that could be a really cool focal point. So I could go in the middle, as Matt says, but I, then I would feel like I need to fill out these edges a little bit more. So See, I, I feel you. like I want to do it over here. If there's one, I'm a catty corner kind of person, okay? If there's, if there's one type of person I get, it's a fellow man who's had way too much to drink. He had oh to feel what's going on. Everyone's saying Mm. Middle. What do you think, Kate? Middle. Middle. I think, middle. I think you should go middle. I don't know. Middle. I don't know. I like the cat. Riley's he over there. He, he made bagel pizzas. He did. I saw that. Oh. <laughs> he hates me. He's all like over there having. He hates uh, me. You know, we've also got an anchor here, which could be kind of cool too. Let's take a look and see what else is in no here. No yanker, my fancy. anchor. What? <laughs> okay, you're scaring me. You're Everybody's scary. saying center. Who else loves to go live with her husband when you have no idea what he's going to say? Adam, are you giggling back there? No, ma'am. <laughs> you are such a suck butt. <laughs> yeah, you leave alone, him. You leave alone now. Nobody likes a, likes a brown noser, Adam. <laughs> Just remember that. <laughs> See, I have an anchor, too. An anchor could be cool, but... A little tiny anchor. Yeah, I know. But well, if you're going to do it, then you'd have to do the anchor offset like that. All right. I think I'm going to go with it offset because I just feel like that would be really, really cool. Right no, we got all kinds of stuff where we used Let's our paint it. outdoors. Let's do it. Everybody's like middle magazines and plants. Yeah, but then if you put it in the middle, you got this circle in the middle, and then what do you got on the sides? Well, they say you put plants in, in like coffee book table books right. on the sides. Right. So, but on the yeah. Sides. But no, you put your you put your focal point in the middle. Do you know what I'm saying? So if I was to use that for the side, then I could Laura set my Miller horse up says, and have my thing to here, Matt right here, center. right? No. Yes. All right, where'd my black go? See? I, I see my black? That's been my life for 20 years. I give Thanks. her good advice, and she ignores me. I know. I should have ran away when I had the Look, chance. Everybody right? saying middle. Not everyone. Everybody saying middle. You had one side. Well, that one person. You know what? I'm Who gonna, is it? I'm protesting. I'm not even going to go do the... I'm not even going to do dab, 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 dab because I'm protesting. All right. All right. Guess what? But I'll dab, do dab, brush, dab, brush, dab, brush, dab, brush, dab. brush, 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 brush. You be over there, then. I'll be over here. <laughs> That's it, Kate. You're fired. Get your stuff. Get out. Nobody does the dab, dab, dab. <laughs> I need a stand and dabber. Quick, step. ASAP. Who's going to be my dabber? Oh, guys, it's going to be so awesome. Rush, 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 Can't rush, wait. Rush, 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 rush. You want to come do the <laughs> overview here while I'm doing this? <laughs> that means, oh, I would that never. That means you have to stand up. Are you going to be good with that? Hmm? No, I'm not good with that. I just want you to know I'm not good with this. What? The fact it's not in the center. I'm making it known. Everybody do knows. Do you have OCD? No, everybody knows that I'm not okay with this. Listen, this is the space where you come for inspiration. You go... Oh, so I don't always have to put my stencil in the center. You don't. Rush, 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 rush. So then when you stack your coffee table, but, but you babe, can put your things babe, in there. Babe, oh, you're using babe. No, this ought to be babe. <laughs> yeah. Everybody on here knows you don't put stencils in the center. They've been watching you for years. Right. That's what I'm saying. And they haven't caught on yet? Now I really question. You're always rush, 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 yeah. rush. I'm a caddy kind of girl. I am. Like, you know, if life says to put it in the center, no, let's put it to the side. Let's just do it. So I give you full creative control to put your stencil in the center, okay? If it makes you happy. Because that's what it's all about. Right, Adam? Yes. Agreed. See what Adam said. You hear that? I don't give a Did you hear that? What? I don't give a flying. Listen. Monkey. We're gonna get shirt. We're, we're gonna have a shirt that says "I don't give a dab," okay? And it'll be like a secret squirrel club, secret monkey club. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. What are you doing? All right. So I'm just doing the. I don't put a whole lot of paint on, right, guys? Yeah, I go mad. <laughs> what's that? What's that? Uh, Bridget says, oh, he just busted out the bed. <laughs> Don't you start too, Bridget. All right. I'm trying to get in this little center over here. There we go. Yeah. 
Yeah. This oh. is this is creative therapy, oh, you know. Oh. You know. Dang, I burnt my bread this morning. You know. Dang wait, that car wait, 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 tried to like. What did you just say? You burnt your bread this morning? Yeah, I'm saying like you're not have a bad allowed day. to have bread. I'm using it as an example. Like oh, you're having think, a bad day. Like I, I think burnt somebody my bread had this bread morning. today and didn't tell me. Dude, I haven't had bread in like two and a half months. Okay, I would know. I would know. Don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I likes that. What do you think? Yeah, you feeling it? We'll have to distress it out a little bit right here. I do love it. So you could add some more like splotches of color on here, but remember, it might look a little bit light right now because we've sanded it. And tell me what happens next. We add the fill in the blank. What do you think we're gonna add on here? It's gonna really make this bench pop like no other. So as I clue up here with a final coat, what did he just say? Did you hear what he just said? Like, I think he knows. I think he knows. What'd you just say? Wax. Wax? Wax. I'm out. I'm out. Damn. I'm out. I'm out. Listen. I just want you to know we're adopting Adam, okay? He's coming home to live oh, with us. Oh my God. So if you wake up tomorrow morning he's at the breakfast table, it's because, you know what? He's gonna help me paint. <laughs> they don't know, but I know. <laughs> I know what you're up to. <laughs> oh, too funny. And right, I don't guys. trust you. <laughs> Alright guys, I think we should take Adam's advice and put a little bit of monkey shine wax on it, right? I mean, I just don't know where he comes up with these things. He's just brilliant. These stencils came from Walmart. Brilliant, I tell ya. Okay, Adam, you can have some fun with this, okay? Because this is the most like the most asbestos part of, of like doing this okay so what I'm do you do to prevent bleeding uh you don't use this you use don't... our paint it's heavier thicker than yeah. maybe what you think and you don't use yep. as much. you and don't load up your brush and go much. less and like you can always build layers but you, it's gonna be hard to take them off right? uh, linda has a great one she says oh dad yeah can i show you guys something because this is a really cool thing as well right so if, if say for example that i had kitties right now at home that still love to hang out and play Remember when you're using our chalky style paint? You can have all kinds of fun because this is, um, you know, this is a chalkboard. How fun is that? So think about all the colors that we want and what you can do and all that good stuff, right? It just says welcome to our happy place, by the way. Um, so, how fun is that? But we're gonna seal it. So when you seal your piece, what happens is you're plugging off all those pores and you no longer have a chalkboard, okay? You now have a fully finished piece of furniture. Adam, are you excited? Yeah. Come and sit down Oh with my me. God, you brown noser. <laughs> hey, you stop picking on him now. I'm not picking on him. He knows exactly <laughs> what he's doing. Don't, don't think that I'm giving him a hard time. Listen, you be nice now. I, I know Adam. I know Adam. Trust me. All right. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to give you the best part, okay, Adam? We're going to switch spots, okay? Right. So I'm going to let you get closer. To, you're going to take the wheel, okay? You're going to take the uh, the wheel there. Jesus. Wheel. All right. <laughs> so we're going to use our monkey shine, which is the all-natural wax polish that you guys love. Give us a hashtag uh, stencils, Brianna Bunch at Hearts if you um, love the monkey shine. The stencils come in sets of 42. They're yes. folk art. Brush, get off the website. You're gonna basically, this is like a lip balm, okay? So go ahead and get right. a little bit on your brush, just a little bit. You don't have to like go all the way down into yeah, you're it. You're not yep. like crushing it It'll up. Pick like up. You can can you like see it on the top right there? Yeah. Yeah, you got lots. Okay, now go ahead and put it down. Yep, this way, up and down, and start doing the swirl. You're like, think about like, I don't know, do you ever have a toothbrush that has the little like electronic battery inside of it and, it's, and it goes around in circles really, really yes. fast? That's what basically what you're doing, okay? You're like the toothbrush. Be the electric toothbrush. Oh, Linda, Linda. I, uh, I've known Adam for quite a few years. There's nothing innocent about him. <laughs> mm. uh, Matt, are you messing with Adam? Come on now. I'm not messing with Come Adam. Come on now. I just know what he's doing. What? You know what? Matt, you should be shaming yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, <laughs> All right, you're good. Yep, I'm just going to help you out here. So, Gwen says he's being respectful and artistic. Yes, he is. Oh, you have no uh -huh. idea, yes, Gwen. Is.
Lurks inside that black heart of his. <laughs> Alright, listen, he's got a Hello Kitty that dances on his keyboard. This is Adam, like, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And just like vampires, it's all done just he's to like suck you in. Yeah, like when you do it, so you're gonna like stay in a spot, go quickly, alright, and you'll see the paint will actually revive, Did Riley come back to a sharp also. color. Riley, Riley is, yeah, he, he laughed. <laughs> so these guys graduated together this year. How cool is that? Are you happy to be at a school, Adam? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. There you go. God bless. <laughs> no going back. I'm just happy I don't have to, um, you Get know, set my alarm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seriously. I won't miss that, right? All right, so what we're doing right now is we're sealing off this piece, all those wood pores, so it becomes resistant. And you'll see that it carries very, very far on your brush, right? All right, so we got it all over that part. If you want to start working on this, I'm going to do the back and the black as well. Okay. So once you put down your wax, then you want to go ahead. So it's like lip balm on your lips. You ever blot your lips? Now we have, we're going to want to use one of these, okay? So not all cloths, are cloths, a lot, like a lot of things, are not created equal. So this is a tightly woven cloth that will pick up any of the excess that's left on the top, okay? So when Thank you're you, done, Kate. if you do a good job of doing this and buffing this off, what will happen is your piece will feel nice and soft and butter smooth, okay? All right, if you wanna do this, so you seen Karate Kid? Wax yes. on, wax off, all right? Yes. All right, now you get to wax the car, like this here, <laughs> all right? What are you laughing at? Oh, just fine. All around in circles, okay, like this, and then, when you feel like it starts to get really picked up on your um, pay attention. your pay paint right here, pay attention, are you giving boy. him side information? Pay attention, yes. boy. Are you, oh, the ice Kate's kinda... Kate is over here. She she's the mole. She's trying she's to the help mole. him, man. She's passing the yes, info for him. Yes, 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 yes. You just thought he was she's paying helping attention. She's helping him cheat on the test now. <laughs> I told you. Jimmy she Buffett. loves him. Jimmy I Buffett. Told you. Jimmy Buffett, like you're a music man. You don't know Jimmy up, Buffett. What's up, Wigan? Yes, Jimmy Buffett, like I don't care. All right, so Jimmy Buffett up right there. All right. And then, you know. What about Riley? How is he going to feel go. about Adam? Do you, see, do you see the look of concern on that face? Yes. Riley's starting up his summer business here, guys. Yeah, he, he, he's, uh, yeah. So he's, he's intently working over there on building a website and doing what he does. So lots of work going down. Carrie's packing and shipping in the background. All your monkey mail is coming out to you. So this is what you get when you uh, support the junk monkey. You keep us all employed and uh, doing what we love, right? This is pretty much it, so. This is true, this is life at the Junk Monkey, right here, real you deal. you wash those cloths or just keep using the same one? You wash them, you wash yeah, them. Yeah, when it gets to the point where it's completely coated, yeah. then you're gonna want to uh, wash with some like, you know, dish detergent and water, just hand wash them. If you wanna get the view from the front mat and look down, that would be good because you can see the black. So that way you can really see it. Because I'm going to do the legs as well. So you keep buffing and uh, I'll keep waxing. But do you see how nice and vibrant that comes, guys? Jimmy I mean, you, when you look yeah. at it from the front, you might have a different sort of view now from the front than from the side. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with us. I'm sure in the beginning, when you start a piece like this, it's like, you know, what's going to happen? Is this really going to look okay? But you gotta like trust in the process, right? That's what somebody just said. Yeah. Looks awesome. The scratchy scrubber is a great idea. Yes, it is. Yeah, it gives you that really scratchy, distressed look, right? So, can you see the black? The difference that it's making when I'm putting on the, the monkey shine? Like, look down here at this leg. Come in real close on this leg so you can really see it, all right? So, yeah, it's gorgeous, right? And then we'll buff that off. Really, really cool. So, if I came with Gailene wants to know if we'd feed her bananas. We we would feed you real food, Galen. <laughs> Unless you messed up, then then you get bread and water. Matt only like wishes he could have bread and water. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Does that not sound like torture anymore, Matt? Since you've been on the keto diet. Yeah. So if you think I'm giving Adam a hard time, you haven't been in a van on the road with Adam traveling from concert venue to concert venue, dealing with his tomfoolery. <laughs> Being a safety hazard on the road. He's a yeah. sweet little boy. You leave yeah. him alone now. You deserve everything you Don't get. Don't disturb him when he's working on a piece. Come on now. You just stick with me, Adam. You'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Selena. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> we have two dogs and it's too funny because the two girls are so jealous of each other and uh, the one is like you know the one's a fighter and the other one's probably more of a lover and uh, she'll come up like when the other one's mean like you gave us both food but come on protect me protect me right anybody else have animals like that mm. they kind of look to you for uh, you know make them not take my piece of pepperoni from me so yeah you stick with me. You stick with me. What do you think, Adam? Tag it teamed looks, it, man? Yes. Pretty cool. What color would you do, Adam, if you had, like, of all the pink mm. colors that we do have, what do you think you would do? I would do mouse in the house. Really? That yes. came quick. Why? What would you do? Like, all gray? Do you like the distressed the wood color sort of look? Knows. I would use mouse in the house and I'll love you more. Really? Oh, <laughs> look at that dirty look on his face. <laughs> I love you, Adam. I'll love you. <laughs> oh, too funny. All right, guys. If, so if you was to do a bed <laughs> these colors, how would you do the post okay, for the bed? Same colors or black? You could do the same colors, or you could do black, right? What's that? He's so quiet. He is. That's because you haven't gotten to know him yet. <laughs> Maybe he'll paint with us again tomorrow. I don't know. What do you think, Adam? Maybe. Hard eyes. Maybe? Yeah? He's getting his, uh, you know, getting all into it. Did you get all around down here? If I drive yeah. all the way to oh, Pennsylvania, can I spend the day with Sonia? <laughs> well, chances are if you come here um, during Friday and Saturday, you'll find me in the shop. And on the weekend, we've been doing some traveling. We just got back from Texas last weekend. But if you want to know if I'm around the shop or not, follow our page because... I'll pretty much tell you, right? So we're in the shop all this week. So hopefully you can see that. Boom. Over here. I got to If you want to see in there, I'll just turn it. I was just over. Yeah, because I want them to be able to see how the planks lay. There you go, guys. Right? Are you feeling it? Look, we still need the. Anchor. Good job, Adam. We still need the. I approve. Thank you. you do. Yes. Very nice. All right. So now we got um, we got to get how many winners? You said one, right? Okay, I tell you what, Adam, why don't we let Adam pick a winner? I okay, come on. One. Yeah. Yep. So All right, too. you go with Kate. I let the lovebirds pick a winner. How do I do it? Just scroll. See, how do I do it? <laughs> He's so gosh darn cute. All right. Gotcha. Will you right. stop? So somebody who wrote the word share. The first we got, Yeah, and was chatty and first We found one. We got Jasmine. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. A Let's see. Oh, Jasmine Anias. Anias. There you go. Jasmine Anias. All right, so what does Jasmine have to do? Jasmine yes. has to email us at yes. jumpmonkeypaint at gmail.com okay. before midnight yes. to win a $30 gift certificate to jumpmonkeypaint.com. There you go. There you go. So you guys got it? So you guys learned something Bridget tonight? says, Bridget says she was been on your side all night, Adam. Aww. Aww. Thank you, Bridget. <laughs> she, she didn't pick her. Too funny. Oh, sorry, Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, this is uh, using that same technique. This is how you can make signs with it, right? Pretty cool. You just flip over and use whatever sort of um, colors you want to use, but at the end of the day, you can make it yours. But if you are looking for that really beachy, like salty kiss, like you know what I mean, like weather beaten, that sort of thing, this is ama an amazing tool to use. And I am all about not breaking the bank and having fun and being creative. And you can totally control this. You saw Adam do it, so I know you can do it too. All right, so. That concludes. Take one final look at this lovely piece today. Give me some hearts. That would mean the world if you guys would give me some love. And uh, tomorrow night we'll be back on again showing you guys another fun technique. We're doing furniture all week this week. So we'll see what Matt finds me tomorrow. And don't forget that the boho bracelets are now available. First come, first serve because they are truly handmade. So, um, you know, grab them in the colors that we do have. But if you go to junkmonkeypaint.com and click shop, you'll yeah. see them listed there. See, see how quick they turn on you, Adam? Stephanie just said, you were supposed to pick me, Adam. <laughs> yeah. Fickle. Still in the pressure. Fickle. Fickle. Yeah, there you go. Oh, too funny. Oh, my gosh. 
All right, guys. Well, I think that's it, right? I think we got it all taken care of. Um, I love this look. Who loves this look as well? And it's when you pair stuff with it, like it starts to come to life because right now you're looking at it on a painter's tarp. I'll take a nice picture outside tomorrow, but you know, like when you put like, you see how we put those little white pieces in here, add them to this over here. Those little bits of white allow you to be able to bring in something that maybe has some white in the decor as well. So have fun, pick your pieces. And at the end of the day, you have full license to be creative. Oh, that's right? fine. I'm it to you right Jeanette now. Jeanette Patton says her parent laughed at us all night. So we had a pirate night tonight. We did. We had Adam who pirated the airwaves. <laughs> we had the pirate on the table. We have a parrot laughing. A parrot? Yeah. She has a she parrot. Said. Yeah. How cool is that? Okay. Makes you want to paint in parrot colors like oh. crazy eyes. Oh, gosh. Okay, who knows what we'll do tomorrow. All right, guys. Inspiration comes from everywhere. All right, have fun, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Right, we'll see, see you guys. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Bye. Right.